Now today we are going 18 holes on the Sportsmax Zone. The sport of golf is steadily growing in the Caribbean with representation at various competitions in the region and beyond. Now many juniors are gaining recognition in their countries, particularly in TNT and Barbados. However, one junior player has taken the international scene by storm, with some even comparing him to the legend Tiger Woods at his age. The 70-year-old Barbadian Ashton Okola's name has been on the lips of many in golfing circles, winning tournaments globally, even as far as uh, Africa. And as a reward for his outstanding achievements, he was named Junior Sports Person of the Year at the recent National Sports Council ceremony at the Sir Garfield Sobers uh, Complex in Wilde. Let's meet the little man doing himself uh, massive things on the golf course, Ashton Okola. Um, Ashton, welcome to the Sports Mac Zone. Great to have you on, sir. And uh, let me say this first of all, I first went on a plane, Ashton, at 15 years old. Now you're seven years old and you've already visited four continents. How many countries have you played golf in? Eight. Eight countries, can you name them? Can you remember them? Mexico, South Africa, United States, Uganda, South Africa. Yeah, you said that. I think the Dominican Republic, you can add them as well. Dominican Republic and Mexico <laughs> and <Yeah>. Italy. <laughs> all right. Well, well, first of all, Ashton, we're really happy to have you on. I've been uh, seeing your progress in international golf for, for a while now. And it had been our plan for a few months now to put, put you on the show to talk about your achievements so far. Uh, so um, we just mentioned your title successes that you've had already in Florida and, and South Africa. Um, what has it been like so far at this young age, breaking onto the international scene in such a big way? Well, it's very like it's very exciting and sometimes very nervous. I was reading some... sometimes I get nervous when my opponents are doing good. Uh -huh. I, I I I read a report that you suggested that you have matured in the past couple of years and. Um, Whereas maybe two years ago, you would get very mad if you had some bad shots on, on the course, uh, that now you, 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 you take it a lot better. And I, I found it amazing because you, you were talking as if you were a, a big person because you were suggesting when you were younger. And the fact is that you're still very young. Um, golf can be a very frustrating game. I know players who get very agitated when their shots don't come off well. Can you talk to us about how you've been able in the past couple of years, referencing the point I just made, about when you had bad moments on the course and how you handled them then to how you're handling them now? But in the round on number one at the... at the Blue Monster, um, the first shot on the first round, I hit that ball into the water, and then, and then the next shot after that, I hit into the water again, so I ended up getting a five on that hole. And, and yeah, at the end of the hole, I wasn't feeling very happy, so I just tried to make it up for the rest of the holes, but um, sadly it wasn't enough, so I came forward. Yeah. Ashton, when did In you... 2022. Right. When did you realize that you really loved golf and you wanted to play golf? At my first tournament 
Pepsi Little Peoples. Yeah, and how important is it that, you know, you have your parents with you supporting you? Because many children are not lucky like you to have their parents, you know, giving them all their support. I'm happy that they're here and I'm just glad that they came with me. Yeah. Tell me a bit about your coach now. How is coach? Oh, uh, he's good. He's, he's teaching me a lot about... Uh, he's teaching me a lot, so like, uh, when I used my driver on the first shot, um, I need to stop cutting it to the left and hit it more straight. Yeah, so he is really there for you. You have school, right? And you have golf. How are you, Ashton, able to do both? Some people can't even do school alone. It's tough, but, um, but once you get used to it, it starts getting easier and easier. <laughs> All right, Ashton, um, just very quickly, um, I, I, I gather that you actually started playing golf when you were like two years old. Um, can, you, can you remember that? And can you talk to, us, talk to us about how you felt at that time playing? Um, I felt like I didn't really know what to do at two years old, so I guess like hitting the balls. Wait. All right. Is mommy around? We want to talk to mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and while mom comes in, what a sensational story because he yeah. has been doing so well. We're talking about seven years old here, you know. Yes. Um, what were you doing at seven, Mariah? I can't remember, so I find it so amazing that he remembers all these things. I mean, seven? I can't remember. I used to love to dance. So let's just say maybe I was dancing because I did do dance classes professionally. Yeah. But the way how Ashton is able to, you know, explain what he's been doing and remember these things, Ricardo, I can't remember. Yeah, and I, I really do want to hear, and, and I suspect we'll have a quick chat with his mom in terms yeah. of how he started in this sport, because mm -hmm. golf is not necessarily the type of sport that you start doing That's at right. two years old, yeah. unless... Um, there is a plan, a very specific plan. To um, steer the, the child in that direction. In that direction. And so I want to get an understanding of how that came about. But yeah, um, tremendous performances that we've seen from him. And he's been um, quite the rave um, in these uh, tournaments um, at his level. He's been tremendous. And you just have a look at it there. Look at him there. His so form. much composure and confidence when he's... Um, on course and at just seven years old absolutely fantastic yeah all right well let's talk to his mom though Janil because um, his parents are Jamaican but they are living in 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 Barbados and uh, Janil must be very proud of what, what Ashton has been able to achieve so far Janil welcome to the sports Mac zone a uh, great great to have you on the show can I start here Hi, though? Good. <laughs> Get, sure. can, yeah can I start here though because um, I'm pretty certain that while you recognized a few years ago that Ashton uh, did have a knack to be a, a good golfer. Uh, what he has achieved as a seven-year-old is probably beyond your expectations. Absolutely. Um, Ashton blows me away um, repeatedly. Um, you know, we, we didn't know how good he actually was when we were... Um, moving to Barbados, um, a, a, a golf pro told us that he was very special and he was very effusive. Um, and we weren't sure what to make of it. And the reason we put him in his first competition at three was just to get a sense of, you know, what he was like as compared to the rest of the world. Um, and once we saw that he was, you know, really making um, his way, and he actually he's, has an intuitive knack of, of the game. I think that's what's, what's special. Um, and so once we saw that intuition and that natural ability, we just felt it was our responsibility to do everything we could um, to support that, nurture it, and, and push him forward. 
Yeah, I, I gather that a, a bit of it could be in his DNA as well, uh, Janil, because his, his dad was a pretty good cricketer as a teenager, I'm told. Yes. Um, so his dad um, played for Jamaica's under-19 team. Um, I am not Jamaican um, other than by marriage um, and the mother of a, a, a Jamaican child as a family. Um, um, originally, and... Um, we, I'm an athlete, my husband is an athlete, so we thought he would have some kind of athletic ability, but we didn't really think it would be golf. <laughs> yeah. So it just goes to show you that, um, you know, life happens as you're there trying to make plans. Yeah, how did it become golf? Well, um, we really just needed a place for him to go, um, to stay occupied, to be honest. We were moving from Jamaica to Barbados. We were living in Antigua for a little while. And when he was in Jamaica, he was at Fundaciones, which at that point was a um, full bilingual immersion preschool. And he was 18 months there and wearing full uniform. And um, a short term, our only short term options in Antigua was to put him in a nursery. And that felt like a step backward. So um, someone said, well, I, I see that there are some children at the golf course. Why don't you inquire? And I called the lady at, at the golf course. She said, I never see them so young, <laughs> but <laughs> call the coach and tell him that you have, you know, work to do. You need a place for him to stay and see what the coach will say. And the coach said, you know, my children are amongst the best golfers in the region. And they started following me around the golf course at that age. So don't worry about it. And if he if he needs, you know, if he doesn't like golf, I'll have a football. I understand you need to get work done. Um, you know, your husband is in court unavailable, so I will I will facilitate you. And when I went to pick him up, he told me there was no football necessary and this child has something special and he's never seen a two-year-old hit a ball like that. And it was um, quite astonishing. Not anything we would have ever imagined yeah. at all. I expected to pick this child up and, and, and you know, that would have been the end of that. Um, he said, no matter what you do, make sure you keep this child in the sport. Yeah, well, and once he said that with the kind of passion he did, I, I knew maybe, you know, there was something there. Yeah, uh, we've got to leave it here, Jenny, but there's one question before we go, because I see he's a lefty like Phil Nicholson. Um, is he yeah. a left-hander, generally? Yes, he is. Left-hander, left-footer. Um, he does. He's left-hand dominant. But when he first learned to play, because they didn't have left-handed clubs, and he was only two, so we weren't sure whether he was left-handed or right-handed, he started actually playing right-handed. Wow. So he can swing. He can play right-handed and left-handed. Wow. This is a, a pretty special youngster. And uh, um, congratulations as well for the National Junior Award that he won for Barbados, which is amazing for a seven-year-old. I've never heard a seven-year-old winning an award like that in, in Barbados. But uh, thanks, Janil, for talking to us. And all the best for young Ashton as he pursues his career in the sport of golf. This is an amazing story. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Yeah, bye. We have, go to break. Have a, have a lot more coming up on the Sports Mat Zone after this.